Oh boy, oh boy, have I ever been hard at work. I come to you now inside a giant eyeball, a giant eyeball of my own design, a giant eyeball of my own design which I like, a giant eyeball of my own design which I shall poke my head at now and show you, ooh, look. Things are different since the last time you have seen this place. Allow me to explain. I've been working very, very hard to farm all the materials and everything necessary. We've got a pathway now. Look, made of sandstone. Sandstone's nice. Jacques is still there, although he is a bit, a bit of disappointment. Maybe we should burn him. Wait a second now, Krusty, there's a big old building project. Looks like it's starting off over there, yes. Observant individual. <laughs> yes, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building a big old fat skyscraper thing. And not just any old fat skyscraper thing, we're going to be building a village breeder. Why a skyscraper and a village breeder, Krusty? Those are two different things. No, because we're combining them because we're, I'm a genius. That's what, It's dark, I'm going to go back stairs and go lie down because the night time has bumps in its... Shut up! Zombies making noises, I'm telling you. Ow! Really wish I didn't do that. <gasps> Kelly Bubble! No, you don't get me, you don't deserve it. I've been fucking so hard not to die. Okay, before we get into that, I'll explain that later on. Okay, I've, I've been, as I said, I've been farming resources and stuff. I've been doing stuff on Twitch, getting resources, getting a whole bunch of stone and everything that I need. So I should be good to go. Probably not, because there's always things you forget, isn't there? But as you would notice, I'm currently level 48. Level 48. That's a lot of bloody levels. I've been, I've been very... Very paranoid. I feel like I'm gonna die and lose them all. Like, you know, I have done in the past. I've been through that hell once, don't want to go through it again. I have made the temporary enchantment room inside of the cow place. Because everything is temporary right now, it's not gonna be here for long. But this should get us all the max levels that we're gonna need with the enchanting. I've got a uh, box here with Lapis Lazuli in it. We got 48 levels. I'm gonna get enchanted in a diamond pickaxe. And we're gonna see what we can get. We can get fortune. That's precisely what I bloody wanted. Precisely what I wanted. Fortune 2 could be better, but I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Fortune 2 and Unbreaking 3. That's better than absolutely nothing, isn't it? That's absolutely better than absolutely nothing. Okay, so before we go forward, I need to do more. What more, Krusty? What more do you mean? I need to do more enchantments and stuff. I, it, it's been driving me insane that I haven't used up all my enchantments. If I use my enchantments and then I die, I don't feel as bad. So we're going to go get some more diamonds now with this, this diamond pickaxe of fortune, which will give us more diamonds. I've been saving some diamonds because I have been mining, as I've said, and I found a bunch of diamonds. And I wanted to wait until I found fortune enchantment on my pickaxe before I went to get them. Because then obviously we get more diamonds and with more diamonds comes more happy times and with more happy times puts a smile on my face. There is a torch on the ground. I signal to myself that down this way there are diamonds ready for collecting. Because you see I plan ahead. Ah, please don't kill me. So here we have our first bunch of diamonds. Let's get collecting these things here. I've I've secured the area around them as well, so they should be completely safe. Ah, run, 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 run. Uh, run. run, 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 run. How many needs to... Ah, ah. Ah! The banana don't know its name. What is a banana's name? Joyce? 39 diamonds is not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna use those 39 diamonds and I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend them on stuff. Stuff like a sword. There you go, we got ourselves a diamond sword. Isn't life pretty? Stuff like a diamond chest plate. There we are, and diamond leggings. And diamond... boots. And we still got some time and stuff, so let's let's go ahead and get ourselves a diamond helmet as well. Full diamond gear already. Things are looking pretty good, and we've we've got 13 diamonds still. I'm gonna keep them for our diamond sword. We get sharpness free. I'm breaking free and knockback too. I'm I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. What about a diamond chest plate? Get protection. Uh, just that. Okay. Well, it's better than absolutely nothing, isn't it? I'm. I'm good, by the way. I just, I just want to use all my enchantments. I, I'm terrified of losing all my levels again, so I just use everything up I possibly can here. Protection on the boots, and I'm breaking again. We are going to be able to take a lot more punishment. Respiration and blast protection. There you go. I was hoping for something. What, what does the book get me here? Knockback two. I want it better than that. That's shit. Slow down. There's enough for everybody. Margaret, you kinky little moo. That's Margaret. She's the most naughty one of all of them. <laughs> She'll die first. 
I need leather and I need books. You're in my way of progression. Get out of my way of progression. Now you have a lovely little childhood life. I'll come visit you again when you've all grown up. I've made some books. Tell me what I get. Feather fall into- that would be good! That'd be great, that'd be perfect! Feather falling doesn't then like soften your blow. Like if you fall in from great well, I'm gonna be very high though, so I'm gonna die regard. Never mind. Smite is pretty good. Fire protection there, and we got some quick charge one there, and we got a nice little thorns one. Chris, you're wasting these levels. Yeah, but I don't feel safe having them though. There you go. Now we got a chest full of little glowy, sparkly books, and I'm back to being level ten, which is much more manageable. Now I'd still be a little bit upset if I died, obviously, because after all. Life does truly mean something, especially when you've got sparkly experience points you can spend. And you're closer to the really big sparkly experience points. The sun's going down, that's bad, I'm gonna turn around and go to sleep. I do feel much more comfortable though. Hey! No, you just, you stay sat there! And think about what you have done. I don't know what he's done. He's just been sat there for days, so I can't remember why. At this point, I think it's- I think he's brain dead. I don't know. Now let me take you through the tour of what I hope to achieve by the end of this video. If I don't do it, well then I'm gonna be a little bit sad. We've spoken of sadness before. A lot of things make me sad. Not being able to complete this at some point would make me very sad, especially because I'm very, very excited about the project. I've laid out the outline of the building here, as you can see. I've put the floor in. It's just nice. It's just some more quartz. Yes, I went and got some more quartz. After that monstrosity over there and give me a headache give all the quartz, I decided we need more quartz. But I've laid an outline here. I'm assuming and kind of hoping this will this will work out and look pretty good. I really kind of hope and just kind of just a wish and wish wishing please wish work work wish. So the plan is a big skyscraper kind of situation. These will be the big doors. You go in there is a reception, hopefully with a sexy randy little receptionist. Cute little thing, if you give her your number, then she will never call you, because she's... She plays around all kinds of funny games with the heart. We don't like her, we're just scared of her, so we keep her employed. As you can see, I have been quite busy collecting stone and everything there, so... Oh, that's all smelted now. Oh, great, okay, so we can move that on and start going again, but I'll do that in a second. Here is where we're going to be getting up to the top of our place here. We're going to do a water elevator, which is the most fun way of travel. We'll be doing that momentarily. Back here is just, we're going to need some space. There's going to be pretty basic down here. I don't want it to be, like, full of stuff. I, I was considering, like, w waiting rooms and benches and stuff, so it looks like some kind of fancy office-y kind of building, but I think it would look better if it's just bare, because there's a sort of surreal kind of feel to something like that. But anyway, we're going to go up here, and at the top there, way, way, way at the top, we're going to make a village a breathing place. And the thing with the village a breeding place, eventually, when you separate the children, from the adults when you get them down, you need to, they, they need beds to spawn and do whatever, they, they, they need beds, but they got to get away from a, a certain amount of blocks, like 80 to 100 blocks or something like that, so I thought, okay, skyscraper, we'll come down on like some fancy rail system, and we'll go under here, and we'll go all the way under here, and then we'll keep going under here, and then eventually we'll come up, and then they'll, 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 they'll be on the, like the surface bit. Maybe, maybe on the surface bit. I don't know, I'm not very good with redstone. I, I don't have a lot of experience with it. I think I'm biting off more than I can chew here. But anyway, they're either, or either on top at some point, they come out of the ground or they come out of the ground like right here. And they'll be in some kind of like glass little container. And around here, not sure if we're going to be getting it done in this episode or not. Really depends how long that skyscraper is going to take to make. We will have a judgment table. And we will judge them worthy because these children that are born into the world. Some might see as pure. We shall see. We shall see. So with our water elevator here, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be really diving into redstone. A lot earlier than I ever expected to be diving into redstone in this, but I- I'm, I am excited to do it because, as I said, I don't have a lot of experience with redstone. So this is very much a learn as you go kind of a situation, but I feel like a lot of it probably makes sense. There's probably those little tips and tricks, and I'll do things wrong, and I could probably do a lot of things more efficiently than you you might do yourself, or you're aware of, or other bigger YouTubers with more experience would do, but hey, listen, I'm not like those other YouTuber people, okay? I wouldn't want to associate myself with them. Ugh, sick, disgusting YouTuber people. The, the, the constant, like, subscribe to me, 
and leave a like and hey check out my social links and all that kind of stuff they're like trying to promote themselves who the hell do they think they are they make me sick they make me sick okay so we need some soul sand in order to go up and we need a magma block in order to bring us down and i've got myself a heavy weighted pressure plate there and i've also got myself some dark oak signs because i'm using iron doors because they just look more special and fancy obviously you don't want to use the wooden doors because they look like shit some wooden signs either side so the water does not escape and a iron pressure plate down there and then we put a button on this side like so and we use our iron doors like this and we should be able to get in and out nice and easy so you come in receptionist hello i have a meeting with the the children in the darkness the children might be in the darkness for a while that's okay ding dong oh this floor don't mind if i do there you go and we're at the top here It'll shoot us right to the very top, and on our way down. There, ow. Obviously, we crouch at the bottom, so this, this, this bloody magma block doesn't hurt. Otherwise, owie, owie, burny feet, feet. But it works there with the pressure plate just opens the door for us. Perfect. Nice and simple. Now, I'm going to get that all the way to the height we need it to, and then I will I will be right back, and we'll, we'll start doing the breeding farm at the top, probably. Good sex. Look how high we are up here. We're gianter than the eyeball up in this place. It's a little bit slower going down, but looking down, it's slightly scary with the, the blue light and the oh, look how pretty that is. I ah ah. I expected it. I just forgot about it. It's all okay. Well, I'm not looking forward to this bit because this bit is really gonna suck. This this whole this whole thing right now is just an exercise in endurance. I think because it's so tedious. It's quite simple and straightforward, but it's so ridiculous. You, I make a skyscraper out of it, Krusty. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Great idea. I regret it now, don't I? I gotta go around the whole bloody thing, dude. I don't know what I'm doing the outside design-wise, by the way. I'm just gonna make a long phallic-like thing. Congratulations, wife, for you, Laughing Hulk. You have made it on the, the Rock of Comentes for today with a simple question. Which came first, the chicken or the chicken egg? I clarify chicken egg because everyone knows other eggs pre predate chickens. It's nice of you to clarify that. Because you said chicken egg, then the chicken laid the egg because it's the egg of a chicken, therefore a chicken egg. So obviously the chicken came before the egg, which is, in this case, a chicken egg. Make it end. <laughs> it's taken so long. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to. Probably got time for one more question, I would imagine. Let's go look for another question. Okay, I have a very important question here from MSM77, who says, Toilet paper, folded or crumpled? I usually fold it, because crumpled is just uncomfortable. It's, it's delicate around there. You gotta, be, you, gotta, you gotta be careful with it. You fold it up because you have some self-respect. Obviously, you don't just crumple it up and shovel it around there, and then it gets very uncomfortable, and then maybe you scratch yourself. Wounded with toilet paper? Wouldn't that be a tale? So yeah, I fold it up, but I'll be honest, sometimes it's not the perfect folding. Sometimes there may be a little bit of crumples around the edges, sometimes there might be. Sometimes I might, might crumple it up a little bit, just a little bit around the edges and a little bit will walk working towards the center just because I'm feeling particularly naughty. Well, that's quite imposing looking, isn't it? Look at that. I mean, it's just completely, it's just grey. And a, a part of me wants it to be just grey, but there will be colour, trust me. Bloody hell, of course they asked. This is gonna be so much longer to do than I thought it was gonna do. By the time you're watching this video, it's probably been a few days since the last one. Yeah, it's just more and more work. There's just more and more work. Anyway, let's put the second name on the Rock of Commentos for this day, shall we? Ooh, 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 ooh. Two people. One day. What a special time. <laughs> It's not done yet. Looks very grey and dull looking, doesn't it? Looks very, very, very kind of corporate and businessy. Ugh. I need to look for flowers. Thankfully, there are so many flowers around here. This won't take that long at all. Red flower. Red flower. <laughs> Boom! Flower! What the hell are you? You're a little bit slow on the, the defense there, buddy, huh? Little bloody, bloody hole. Just be, I'm going to fill this in. Just because it would... No, 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 no. I'm not going to fill it in. I'm going to leave it there as a reminder of your failures to protect me. You're here to protect, and you suck at it. If these are your flowers, I'm, they belong to me. I'm stealing your goddamn fl- uh, There we are. Oh yeah, I filled all the top in with dirt, by the way. That's going to become relevant eventually at some point. Don't you worry about it. 
I'm curious, can we Tetris this to completion? Yes, we can. Oh boy. I am the king of color. The master of vibrance. The emperor of fun. There it is! Oh, look at that! Isn't it amazing what a splash of color will do to the whole project? So now we're going to have to go and get all the materials we needed and we're going to actually start doing the villager breeding bit now. Which, believe it or not, is, is not the... that's not the end. That's not the end. Hmm. Half past two in the morning. I'm going to go to bed, I think. I'll do it next time. Time is 7am. I have had some amount of sleep there. Let's do this thing. First thing we need to be doing is to get our water in a nice little hole here. There you go, like that. And then we're going to go out four blocks each way. Then on the fifth and the sixth, we're going to put whatever block we want. And then we just hoe all the bits in between. Okay, well now that we've got this, we're going to need to do a wall around the outside to prevent some monsters getting in or the villagers getting out. So I'm going to pick glass to do this on. I've got a slight modification to the game, so it's a little bit clearer and a bit harder to see. Which should be fine, because it means they might have the illusion of escape, but there is no escape, really. And then we're going to go all the way around about two blocks high. And I'm going to give it a nice roof as well, with whatever block I feel like. In this way, I feel. Dark oak fits. Dark oak always fits. When you have covered up this whole place with grass, it is time to place a compost. Right around there. One barrel there, and then I believe two other different job things, either other side, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I have picked a loom, and I forgot another one, I'll be right back. I have chosen a cauldron. Hopefully that's okay. And I'm going to place a block on top of each one of those so mobs cannot spawn on them. Next thing we're going to want to do is dig a hole three blocks in length and put some trap doors inside of it. And then we put the trap doors down like so. Then we place two dirt blocks on one side and then on the bottom half of the top dirt block we place some slabs. This will allow the zombie babies to run through and fall down, 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 down as long as I wish for them to fall. But the adults cannot go down there, no, because the adults are big and they're stupid and they don't get to- they don't deserve it. Okay, so now we need to place the beds either side of the room, like this, on both sides. Place some torches so the area is actually lit up because we don't want zombies spawning. No, 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 that would be a very cruel and harsh fate. And I'm just gonna plant some carrots down, you know, just to get them started. Okay, well, we're done, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's it. Next thing we need to do is now we need to go underneath. Because when the babies drop down, they're obviously going to have to go somewhere, unless they want to fall all the way down. And probably not, because babies... Here's a little known fact about babies. If you drop them from a great height... Splat. Nobody wants a splat baby. There's no point in it. Gotta start building the underneath of the breeding bit, and this is the way we're going to bloody do it. So let's go. We want to eventually spiral down here with like a railway kind of system, I believe. And oh boy, I hope this is good, and I hope this is actually going to work. I do not have a lot of experience in either redstone or railway constructing, but that's, that's the main reason I'm a little bit excited to get it done, really. Try things that you don't have experience in, you learn new skills and stuff. I might be the most skillful and talented railway slash redstone person in the world. You never know. Bloody hell, it's a long way up, isn't it? <gasps> oh, bollocks. I just, I, I, I pressed the crouch button to like crouch down the end so I didn't fall off and then uh, my finger just going in. Oh damn it, we lost all that level. I'm not that upset, see? If I was level 48 or whatever I was when I started this episode, I would have been quite upset. We need to make sure we cover the ground under both of the holes so the little babies drop in and they have a nice little place to go. A soft landing. It's a very risky and delicate operation. And one little footstep wrong and it goes tumbling down to the ground. It's so high up. Oh my god, we're so high up. We're gonna die. No, we're not. Because we have a nice, healthy, positive attitude. We won't die. And I'm adopting a healthy, positive attitude now for breakfast. Ha! Look at that. I could just, I could just go right down now. Just jump right. Hop off. Hop off. Hop off! Okay, so I believe that is probably all set up okay. Oh, I hope it is. I really hope it is. Now we just need to go get the rail stuff. 
And then we can crack on with it. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna get any rails, any powered rails. I got a whole bunch of redstone. Obviously, I was mining, so I got a whole bunch of that stuff. So that's really no problem at all. Uh, put the smooth quartz in there. Yay, more smooth quartz. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm in a meeting. Okay, they're running away now. No, they're running back now. They're gonna, they're just going in circles. They're doing some kind of dance routine. I wonder if I could jump from here and land in the water. I guess I'll just go back. No, I won't. Not the normal way. Here we jump and we spin. Jump and we spin. <gasps> You're right there. Take your own arrows, you, you, you naughty, naughty thing. I will use you against each other. That is what I will do, because you have no awareness. You're stupid, and you deserve to die. Put that there. It's the second one I've collected. I don't really want it there, but I'm collecting them, so I might as well put it somewhere. Might as well put it there. What was I doing? Rail system. Ah. Uh, get inside! Get inside! There's a raid! Oh boy, I've never had a raid before. Oh no, I need my sword. I don't appreciate your music. God, I don't have my good weapons on me. I got my good armor, but I don't have my good weapons. Here you go, shoot me! Shoot me! Use them against each other. Use them against each other. There it is. What are the villagers doing now? I told you to get inside. What's the bell for otherwise? I rang the bell. It warns you. It tells you, get inside. There's a raid happening. And then you freak out and you panic. And then you just come back out again. It's not ready. Can you not see that? <coughs> There's a uh, round one done, I suppose. Get inside. What are you doing, you maniacs? Can they bust down doors and stuff? I don't know if they can bust down I, I I need I need quite badly just put that there. <laughs> Reminder of my victory. I gotta run, I gotta get my good sword. I gotta get my good sword, I got a good sword, I gotta get it. They're following me. Okay, no time, no time to waste, no time to waste. Do this quickly, come on. Uh, that's the wrong chest, Krusty, that's the wrong chest. There it is. It's in the wrong place. I gotta have the tools in the right place. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, my shield is broken. I have no shield anymore. Oh boy, okay, what do I need? Wood? I've got some iron. I picked up some iron on me. Okay, I've got iron. I just need some wood. Look at them all running around, causing all kinds of heck. Leave my villagers alone, you grey skinned bastards. Quickly make a shield. Quickly make a shield. Quickly make a shield. Where's the shield? Where is the shield? Where's the bloody shield? There it is. 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 Can I go inside? Are they afraid of doors? I hope so. They should be afraid of doors. More importantly, they should be afraid of me. <laughs> what the hell is it? There's a big thing there. Get inside, you idiot! Why did you? Why did you? Is, sorry, closing doors is a problem for you, is it? Get inside the building! Ah! I can't! 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 I'm stuck! Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run away just a little bit to catch my breath, you know, and and eat a nice, nice little steak. They're chasing me. I don't know what he just did, but he, he seems quite angry about it. He's just going to go. <laughs> Let's get the rest of them cleared up. How many how many um um rounds or how many waves have we got to deal with here? I don't know. Like three waves, maybe. I mean, is that the whole you killed one and I'm gonna finish the job? That there it is. Oh snap! Now they got witches too. My dog needs to help me. Are you trying to attack my dog? Leave my dog alone. I'm guessing this is the last wave because it says defeat at the top there. I could, uh, my, 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 my trusty dog is helping me. It's about time he bloody got off his butt and did something, isn't it? Kill them, dog! Oh no, I'm poisoned. Not good at all. This, I don't want to be poisoned. Am I done? I think I'm done. I think we did it. Did we get anything good for doing that? Or did we just... We get to survive? I guess that's what it is. There's a witch up there we got to take out, but the whole, the, the whole raiding bar thing is gone. Did I just survive my first raid? We did it! Is everybody okay? No, he's, he's not okay. He's quite ill. Very well. If they all turned into the Vindicators like that, then um, do I have no villagers anymore? Which, if, if that's the case, then that, that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit of a problem for me because I stop killing me. You're ruining everything. If I have no villagers left, then how am I gonna get villagers up to the top of the thing? Because that's why I'm gonna need to get the villagers up real soon. But these guys are gonna bloody ruin it. <laughs> I feel like I could probably save the the um, the, uh, the, the the Vindicators. Probably turn them back now. I'm realizing that after I've killed them, I have a I have ghost town. My goat town is for ghosts. I can't complete the tower today. Not not all the way like I wanted. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on with the railway system. This has really ruined my day.
Ow. Okay, so that doesn't work. So I'm going to need to come out uh, a little bit more each way before I get that done. So no problem. I'm going to have to use a bunch of redstone repeaters here, right? So let, that's, um, it's just, I don't know how, how long you got to, I also don't know how these work. Obviously you can toggle them back. I think that's to do with timing and stuff. I don't know. I need to learn how to redstone good. The possibilities of the redstone are probably pretty close to endless. That's, no, that's not true. Everything has an end. Everything has a beginning. Everything must die. Okay, so I've got to the point where I've put in the redstone underneath the pathway here into the town. So I'm going to put a lever there and I'm going to turn that on. That should supposed to work. No, not work. Good. For, uh, okay. Uh, I've done it all the wrong way around. I didn't know they have to face the way that the thing is coming from. I've, I, I've done that all the way up. Look, it is now a certain amount of time later. I have done it. So I push this down and it lights up. And that should all hopefully be working any second now. We should expect a nice little minecart to come barreling down there and stop probably somewhere around here because I ran out of powered routes. It's fine. I can't finish it today anyway. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I've got enough gold to keep making it. Don't worry about it. There it is. Oh boy, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha, it works. It's very simple redstone stuff, but I didn't think it out. It's very simple, very tedious, but I was expecting something to go horribly, horribly wrong and I'd have to just scrap the whole thing but so far it seems like it's working the next part is going to be a little bit more complicated because i'm going to be doing like um detector rails and stuff like that probably but i'm actually gonna leave this video here i think because although this video has taken bloody days to make it's gonna take days longer because we're out of bloody villages so next time around we're gonna get some villages we're gonna do some more stuff because there's so much stuff to do Oh boy, there's so much stuff to do. So leave a like if you liked it and all that stuff. And this so subscribe if you really, really like this video. And I shall see each and every one of you next time. So, so long, farewell, and goodbye.